What's up? It's, it's him. You're right. Oh my god. <laughs> it's him. Good oh time. Good time to come today with me. Huh? Yeah. It's us. He's good. Give me a break. I was going to say wave cancelling. Hey Jack, what is login data was determined invalid, which means you may have to request it again before you can connect to chat or do authorized actions. Okay. Yeah, that sounds fatal. Oh wow, look at this. all this new tech. I know. Remember when it was just like a little headphone splitter thing coming out of the side and a exactly. 3.5mm jack? Back when we just had a little camcorder and just recorded the room. <laughs> Alright, so for those not in the know in chat, this is Tom Chataway, aka Pugnator. He's a legendary link from the annals of time. Uh, the best link in South Australian history, most likely. <laughs> yeah. The only link in South Australian history. Potentially. And uh, the first ever tournament I went to in 2014, I went to play PM doubles with Pugnator. Yeah, at my uh, my request, I believe. And we came second <laughs> to Ghostbone and uh, Grim Tuesday. Yeah, and I believe your advice after that was you need to up B more. You did. You should spam it. Yeah, <laughs> it's so good. You're always more of an intellectual <laughs> kind of player <laughs> than me. I just played on feel, and I felt you need to up B. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think that I mean, obviously that was the objectively the correct choice. It's got a really big sword. I mean, you may as well use it. <laughs> got a bag full of other things, though. Anyway, so this is going to be Kai versus Ruben. Uh -huh. Ruben may be after your time. I'm not sure. But he's a Samus player. We <laughs> sure. uh, can't actually see what's happening, but I uh, can definitely hear it. Yes. We got Kaiser, who you will remember. A highly technical player and streamer. He does it all. He's a man with a plan. So, what brought you back to the, uh, the EVAC scene oh, for the people? Uh, well, you suggested it, and I thought it was a pretty good idea. That's a really lame story, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, I was playing the new Smash. Right. Smush, I think they're calling it. Schmultimate? Yes, yeah, Schmultimate. Schm uh, and, and I thought, you know what, I want to play this with not CPUs. Uh, then the first person who came to mind was this man here. Yeah. Say Nick. Renowned uh, Smash Bros player. <laughs> exactly. He reacted favorably to the idea. Yeah. And suggested I come here to reacquaint myself with all the people who are still here. Yeah, because. Mark. Black Shadow, you kind of left a void in his heart when you left. Who? Black, uh, Mark. Black Shadow. Oh, yeah, of course. Mark and I have a uh, unspeakable bond. Exactly. No, neither of us quite understand, but we definitely feel it. <laughs> Alright, I think there's some kind of like camera command that I should be using. Potentially one, two, three. <laughs> oh, let's just push things at random. Four, five, six. Ready? One. Go! Right, ask Jack. What's up, Jack? <laughs> oh, F1. Good. Thank you. <laughs> so you avoid. Right. Alright, sounds good advice. It's good to be safe. It's better to be safe than to be sorry. That is, always, that is always, always correct. F11 is the bad one. I see, so Kai's Fire Crystal box the uh, Red Blazer. Exactly. Were you, were you around for the Red Falco Saga? The Red Falco Saga? I feel like there were several. What's, what's the one you're talking about? 
the one where uh, Kai and I were competing for the red stuff here. Oh, yeah. And basically, neither of you backed down, as I recall. You what? Neither of you backed down, as I recall. No, yeah, it was uh, a pretty standoff. bloody comfortable. Nearly <laughs> tore you back apart at the seams. <laughs> exactly, dude. It was waves. pretty bleak times for uh, the old Smash scene. <laughs> Me and SA at that time. That's the thing about South Australia, we've always been very cutthroat. <laughs> we don't have that kind of uh, loving, welcoming, kinship, community type feel. Yeah. It's just, uh, just everyone's in it for the red blazer. Teeth and nails. Exactly. And beaks. So what do you reckon uh, both of these players could be improving on top? <laughs> what should they be improving upon? Is yeah. Uh, well, what are you noticing about the strategies that they're employing? Literally nothing, Nick. Would, right. you, ca would you care to share what you see? No, I've, I've not been paying that much attention. <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you. Yeah. I think one thing Kai in general might be able to improve on is often he, uh, he doesn't pick the right skill move. Alright. I, I, I always fail to close out stocks. It's important, you know? Yeah. Melee is just about how many stocks you close out. <laughs> so. Pretty much, yeah. Pretty fundamental strategy. See the attempted swag from Ruben? He's like a no impact land. <laughs> Usually when you land, Tom, you get impact. And the idea is to get no impact? That's you got impact, that's bad. That's Why would you want impact? <laughs> Can you imagine jumping from a great height and not getting impact? That'd be pretty sweet. It'd be like a superhero, like Iron Man. <laughs> Samus is a kind of Nintendo Iron Man. In many ways, yes. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> so you thinking of returning to melee or smash ultimate? Uh, I feel like I'll uh, be mostly ultimating, uh, but dabbling in the melee if I feel like my self-esteem is getting too high. Right. Yeah. Yeah, melee is good for that. Mm -hmm. Although my self-esteem has been skyrocketing after playing melee, so I think you're probably the exception in that regard. Oh, there's a few. Would you say that your success is owed uh, to, to hard work or, uh, or or sheer unadulterated talent? Probably like 20% hard work, 70% gusto, 10% <laughs> talent. You know, if you play Link, you're going to have a tough time with some. That's true. Especially in an old game like Melee, before balance was invented. <laughs> well, the, the concept of balance, yeah. Yeah. Kai's really just spacing him out. He's getting up beat. Mm. And Ruben's got that ominous charge shot waiting in the wings. <laughs> He's looking for a down smash into a cheeky read, I would say. But Kai sensibly recovers by intelligently. His head. Yeah, I think Kai is fishing with some things that aren't are just like very safe but not very high reward. Not me. I do actually. So uh what is the what is the average percentage do you think uh Ruben's been getting to before taking the the fatal strike from Kai? Oh what a tech, Kai's crazy. <laughs> didn't have those in 2015 done. <laughs> I sure did. I sure did sure didn't Nick. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, he's probably done. Oh, oh boy. And, uh... Ty just about doesn't make the ledge. Ruben taking that one. Grim. Oops. Sorry. Grim for Kai, but not for Ruben. So you think Kai was spacing when he should have been... smashing some face? Yeah, a little bit. Maybe... I don't know, because he was hanging out the weak down airs, you know? The weak back airs, sorry. Ready? He just, uh, please run into this, you know? <laughs> I love those. Yeah. Especially when they run into it. Often they do. <coughs> it's like a habit I mostly notice from Kai when it comes to last stop situations. It's very uh, overly safe. Yeah. Look and at this, he's like doing it right now. Ends up getting him killed? Yeah. So uh, how safe is it really? Exactly, it's unsafe. <laughs> 
sure there's an analogy with health insurance, but uh, I can't find it right now. Exactly. You spend all your money and you live in the lowest standard of life, mm -hmm. and then you eventually get sick and you get covered. But yep. if, you know, maybe if you lived a higher standard of life the whole time, exactly, you wouldn't have needed insurance. Yeah. Well, I'm sure we. <laughs> Explain it to Kai that way. It's a scam. <laughs> it's a scam. Let's stop paying. Exactly. <laughs> Where does the fire come from in Falco's up B? To a lesser extent. Falco's I think he's got like jets somewhere. <laughs> Maybe in his boots. Oh yeah. Because they are like metal boots. It's it, low down now. Yes, yeah, from the future. Imagine that kind of technology is common. Exactly. I'm sure in, you know, 2000, Plutonium is common as... Oh wait, 1985? I, I forget the reference that I'm trying to make. Back to the future? I don't know. Let's just abandon it before we get too far into it. You know, Back to the Future, where he's like, you know, Marty, I'm sure in 1985 they sell Plutonium with <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Yeah, what age was, was Emmett Brown in that movie? I don't know, somewhere between... 60 and 90, I would say. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere in there. I think like in the 50s he's supposed to be like 50, but he looks quite a lot older. Yeah. Be out of there. <laughs> Alright, so what's going on here? We've he's been absolutely down tonight. <laughs> yeah, this stage is very volatile, Tom. You'll, you'll notice. Because mm. of the small blast zones. It's tight and cozy. It is. And also, these small quarters make it more difficult to avoid Samus and her uh, big moves. Uh, big, fleshy moves. Yes. Forget I said that. Huge. <laughs> luckily, luckily, that wasn't recorded. Moves. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. That's, you hate to see, you know, if you're a Kai fan, you hate to see that kind of thing happen. Yeah. My classes are fucking up with tears right now. Yes. Yeah, I don't know Ruben, so uh, maybe maybe I feel feel happy. If I felt happy for Ruben in an equal amount of health for Kai, I'd be mostly okay. Only one of your lenses would be fucking up. Exactly. I'm <laughs> half fault. Yeah. I tend to go for Kai in this because uh, I like both these players, but I feel like Falco is like higher risk maybe in the matchup. He likes to go for the underdog. So he has to do, even though like he probably wins the matchup, it's like harder, if you know what I mean? He has to work a bit harder. Yeah. And that does lead to uh, those high high effort scenarios where you can really see that they're putting the effort in. True that then. <laughs> <laughs> they're both absolutely trying. Now, should Kai have punished that hard? Who knows, man. So would you say your work as a programmer for the defense industry has helped you appreciate anything more about Smash? Has it given you any skills that you could... Uh... I'd say uh, it has given me literally nothing I can work with in the Smash scene. Oh. Uh, nothing I could apply at all. Uh, I mean, on a general level, I suppose uh, it's affected my ability to... Uh, apply myself and, uh, and problem solve so maybe that could passively improve right. my game it could absolutely I'm just trying to fill out your like melee player resume right now mm -hmm. well actually that's how we actually decide sets now we don't oh, just really? play we just exchange resumes oh yeah well, that makes sense whatever should win yeah. gets the it's, tw it's 2018 nearly 2019 that's the way we should be doing things exactly it should be merit based it should be saving time these things can take you know up to 10 minutes. Yonks. <laughs> We've got simulations that could do the same thing, basically. Actually, I read a book recently called um, Performance Thinking. Uh, mental skills uh, for the uh, high performance road. And uh, there's a lot of sound logic in there. Like that a I think. crime thriller? Or <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and you, you, apply, you can apply it to any, any uh, sphere where you need to perform, for example, sport or eSport. Right. Uh, and it's actually really good. And that, uh, I think it's at least improved my game in other video games that I play, so uh, maybe that'll help here as well. I think it will. And, you know, we're starting off from a fresh uh, 
slate, you know, with yes. Smash Ultimate. But yeah. I'm older, so my hands are probably worse. Yeah, but you're, ex you're wiser. You're experienced that's in always, melee. That's always a trade-off. Yeah. yeah. All of the games. Did you watch the, uh, the Chess World Cup? Or any of it? I must have missed it. Oh, uh, I forgot to update the number. Names one last game. It's 2 0. It was played over many a game. They played 12 games and they were all draws. And then they played some more. And then the world champion was the world champion again. It sounds like it would either be really tense and interesting or just dull. Was it either, either of those? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Uh, depends who you are. <laughs> okay. Subjective then. What was it for you? Uh, I thought it was interesting to look at the analysis that happened after the games. Well, in the it was moment. a bit slow to watch live because they play with like a four-hour timer or something. Oh shit! So. <laughs> That's for the game, not each move, correct? Correct. I think it's per player. Oh, that recovery was not good enough, but very, very tight. Yeah, he nearly made it back for an unmake it backable scenario. Mm -hmm. I was gonna try. You, you should always. You never know when you're a competitor. Perseverance right. can always pay off. Yep. That takes us for them to make one mistake. Exactly. Ready? Go! Oh. You know what? You know what I found improves my game and other games exponentially now. Now that I've actually analyzed myself, is you've analyzed yourself. Yeah. Well, part of this book is like an exercise to find out what what your A game is and how you feel when you're in it. Uh, right. Out of it, in my A game, I actually don't think that much. Uh, I just kind of do. Right. Uh, and so when I you're playing your Crusader Dungeons and Dragons character, <laughs> <laughs> you're not trying to think about the ethics of what you're doing. You're just trying to <laughs> heal people and protect. That's right. Yeah, you're doing what you do best in the moment. That's the spirit. Yeah, that's right. A lot of people say that actually. That they just get into like a flow state where they don't think that much. Yeah, well, that's what this book is all about. Is like being able to. Uh, identify what it is and get into it. Um, right. Do you think the book explains it better than like a person could explain in five minutes? Definitely. So okay. I'm gonna stop. All right. But no, I I <laughs> <laughs> I'm not suggesting that you stop. I'm just <laughs> asking whether the book is like you know justifies its existence it's like, as a book. It's not that. It's not a drastically long book. Um, right. The actual like. It's in like three parts, and like the third part actually describes the technique. So you could just read that if you wanted, but uh, the, re the the beginning is like like psychology. And that's really interesting, anyway. Well, oh, that's yeah. unfortunate from Kai. He got upbeat and just died. No. When that happens, you just you don't feel so good. <laughs> and the instinct might be to uh, try and analyze what happened and think your way out of it, but that doesn't always help you. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't help in the moment. No. And it's not really... Some situations, they're just kind of janky, you know? Some yeah. Stuff happens. Yeah. You can't really learn from it. Yeah. Just gotta move on. You make a mistake. Why did that happen? Because my hands went to the, wrong, to the wrong place, you know? Pretty much, yeah. It can happen to anyone, even when you're not thinking. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oof. <And> he's living. <laughs> he's alive. Get absolutely time. shot. He just died. Wow. Right out of his safe Becca. Oh, even locks can be picked, Nick. Exactly. Even <laughs> the strongest locks. Oh, he's not going to kill him. Oh, no. He tries to be fancy. Oh. oh. This is looking bad. And he's still at this kill quickly, and he knows it, which may be a problem, you know? I think that's gonna, yeah. The more you think about results, the harder it is to perform. Is that from the book? Of course. Yeah. See, I've always found those books to be unhelpful. Like the inner game of tennis. I'm like... <laughs> a lot of people love that book, but, um... I don't know. I just feel like it's very, uh, new-agey nonsense. That's what I thought this one would be, but it's actually helped me. Like, I have actually improved, so... There is something in it. Yeah. To each their own. Maybe I already have the perfect mentality, you know? <laughs> well, yeah. Um, some people actually do. And 
the, uh, the author of this book is a psychologist, and he's and he studied some of these people and asked a bunch of questions, and it really informed their uh, their method. All right, speaking of method, how is Ruben going to get this edge guard? He's not. Oh my! <laughs> yeah. Kai slips sliding all over the place. Have you ever seen a wave dash like that, Tom? Oh, not not without water, and there is water here. I don't think the water actually makes a difference. Really? It's a myth. Oh no! It's just a myth. It's just all psychosomatic. Exactly. And he's living. Kai. He's got one shot. Bump spaghetti as ever. Oh, he got shot. And uh, Ruben takes it pretty clean. 3-1. Kai won't be too happy with that. These guys go back and forth, so it's always a bit painful for whoever loses. Yeah. Well, that's life, man. How long has Ruben, uh, we not been on the scene? Uh, probably, like, since just about when you left. So, uh, for a while, people thought that I could have just changed my appearance and come back as him. Yes. But now we're both here, and that's completely out that's the window. Exactly. That whole theory has been debunked. Wow. That must be disillusioning for certain people. <laughs> the people <laughs> who believe that will be shocked. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> 